nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. A pepito. Hello, everybody. Off to a technical, uh, technically charged start today. Immediate tech issues. It would seem, uh, it would seem that all the audio on my system has gotten all mixed up for some insane reason. I don't know. Let me know if uh, the audio drops out at any point today. I'm also live on Instagram now, but in a vertical format. If you want to see my face longer maybe it's longer on does vertical make me look longer i don't know but it's good to see everybody either way uh shapeshifter shaka exterminator greg to you matt liddell um good to see everybody in the chat <laughs> we're gonna figure it out together i have no idea you know i should open up a little monitor to see that way i can keep uh keep an eye on if my instagram even looks watchable because i have no idea if, if this little thing i downloaded will work but technically i should be on there yes okay does vertical make me look longer it does if you if you take up the full frame a little advice for your face or whatever you may be taking a picture of not just guys if you're a lady who wants a part of you to look long take up the whole vertical frame and lengthen it uh, okay, let's see. What is going on today? Ooh. Huh. Okay, actually, it does look, it looks pretty normal. I look surprisingly normal on Instagram. I look, I, hello, Instagram, if you're watching me, I hope I look extra long for you. Let's, um, let's do some news. Oh my gosh, we had a hype train, but I missed it. The hype train came and went. It lived, it died. Thank you all so much for hanging out today. Let's just do some news. Let's do a classic day where we talk about a news. What news was I going to talk about, though, is the question. I was imme I immediately forgot um, what I said I would do. A faster spinning earth. We already talked about that. Oh, my gosh. Cicada Geddon. Year of the Cicada. I think I'm born... No, wait, I'm not. Cicadas come in all sorts. They come in like different, different, like, uh, what's broods of cicada hatch at different times. I'm matched up with one brood in Virginia. So every t when I turned 16, a bunch of cicadas came out. And then when I was 32 and I visited Virginia, the cicadas were out. Every year, a different brood. But that Virginia brood, it was loyal to me. But let's learn about these broods. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of broods. Um, if I can get this website to work. Page unavailable. I need to know about Cicada Geddon. I need to find a different news source for this. I can't deprive you of the Cicada Geddon facts. Pepito, find me the Cicada Geddon story. Um, I don't think that's a word. How do you spell Cicada? Cigar, Cigar Geddon. Hello, everybody. It's good to see you. Cicada Geddon. Cicada Geddon. The guard. Okay, invaders from are coming from the, for the cicada. Oh my gosh, the AP isn't working. I'm so sorry, case the cicada Geddon is being difficult to find. Oh, there it is. Okay, I found it. I found the cicada Geddon. Good luck covering this important story. The Instagram comments are popping. Pito's gonna be a he, he's got a very Instagram friendly face. Honestly, I should really just delete my own personal Instagram and replace it with probably a Pepito Instagram. It would do better, even though he's technically a generic Snapchat filter. Uh, <laughs> let's do some news, guys. Why not? It's a news day. Let's talk about some cicadas. It's still your vagina. Don't let them take it from you. 
Yes, starting it off right. This is what we like to see. The world's strongest, coolest man. Hi, Chet. Yeah, it's me. It's Chet Manscaped. I'm back. I, I never left, and thus I am, in fact, back again. Insta gets 30 seconds delay, though. That means if you if you want to hear something sick that I say, you just have to wind it back. Uh, to, you just have to pop onto Instagram. It's like an instant replay for all of the smart stuff that I say. I don't know if anybody's going to be opening Instagram in that case. Oh, my God. And, this, and Casey's already on my ass trying to burn my ass off. But my ass is flame retardant. But, uh, what? Cicada Geddon, it's the biggest bug emergence in centuries. I, well, then you must be right at home, Case, because you a bug. Is that an insult? I honestly I don't know. Bugs are strong creatures. Ants can famously lift the power of a hundred their 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 power is to the power of one hundred ants. I think they can just lift lift like a, a large percentage of their body weight. Yeah, they're like all supermans and they can lift to the power of one hundred ants. So maybe this is good. Maybe the bugs are coming to take over because they've earned it. Is it effing? Who's effing? MSG's just asking, is it effing? Is what? I, I don't know. Well, my default answer is yes. Most likely. Okay. Chet thinks he's Don Riggles. I would never claim the throne of Don Riggles. I, I don't claim to be of, of, of that quality of, of butt comic. Trillions of evolutions, bizarro wonders, red-eyed periodical cicadas... Have, that have pumps in their heads and jet-like muscles in their rears are about to emerge in numbers not seen in decades and possible centuries. Chad, I'm seeing how you look in vertical and your head's really big. My head is always really big. It's a sign of intelligence. Crawling out from under every 13 or 17 years with a collective song as loud as jet engines, the periodical cicadas are nature's kings of the calendar. They took your spot. Why is it my spot? Because you did a little calendar guy. Oh, you're, you've seen that? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh, wow. What a surprise. Chet's seen that. Starship Troopers time? Um, Maybe. It depends how big the bugs are this year. Do they come out bigger sometimes? I don't know. I'm not a scientist. But sometimes they look bigger to me. Oh, my God. There's no telling how big the bugs will be this year. These black bugs. Oh, my gosh. They're, they're I thought they were like greenish black. <laughs> this, they might be. Oh, my God. With bulging eyes differ from their... Okay, greener tinge cousin. Oh, my God. There's green ones and black ones. Well, if it's like a usual news story, then um, the color coding there will probably lead to some unintentional racism. Well, we'll re keep reading and find out. They stay buried year after year until... And also, who's to say it's unintentional? They stay buried year after year until they surface and take over a landscape covering houses and shed exoskeletons and making the ground crunchy. Oh my God, what am I even looking at? Is that an elephant bug? Uh, that is a weird looking cicada. The ones I'm used to just have big red eyes and they're kind of green. Am I looking at an arm or a mouth? Cicadism, but it's pronounced sixadism. Well, that might be, must be right up your alley then, Mr. Blackwell, because I'm a sixadist. You're the sickest of sadist of all. For making me look at this fucking what is it? It's a cicada. No, a periodical cicada nympho. These things are, I guess it is effing, but also you read the word wrong. Did I? Oh, nymph. Isn't that the same thing? Um, no, no. Mm. It's four limbs in Macon, Georgia. Oh my God, I'm so glad I'm not in the South anymore. It's the one time I'll say that. This spring, an unusual cicada double dose is about to invade a couple parts of the United States in what the University of Connecticut cicada expert John Cooley called cicada Geddon. Oh my God. D -d this is not a fucking drill. The cicadas is coming. They've got long elephantine 
nostril mounds that they claim are arms, but I mean, look at what this shit is. They're effing, they're nymphos, they're sick sadists, and they're coming in adult numbers and it's unclear what their size may even be. And unfortunately, I have to report to you today that it's over for you, humanity. Starship Troopers was a documentary from the future to the past, and it's finally coming to fruition. It's an ugly planet. It's a bug planet. And I, for one, welcome our bug overlords, and I say, I'll teach you how to squat. You really, you really gave up quickly there. No choice but to surrender in the face of the bug army. For democracy, exactly. I was surrendering for democracy. Otherwise, there will be no United States to even have bugs in it. I'm sorry for this terrible news today that it's over for us, but let's keep reading. Periodic cicadas don't do subtle, Cooley said. So why should I report this with any nuance whatsoever? If you're fascinated by the upcoming solar eclipse, the cicadas were weirder and bigger, said Georgia Tech biopisicist Sada Bahama. Are you checking if you've said that right? You didn't. We've got trillions of these amazing living organisms coming out of the earth. Climb up on the trees at its unique experience of a sight to behold. Bahama said, it's like an entire alien species living underneath our feet. And then some prime number years, they come up to say, hello. Hello, governor. They're British now? Hello. Uh, hello, governor. H how is that? Uh, better than I thought. Uh, hello, governor. Eh? It's getting worse. Are they British? No, they're coming out in Georgia. Oh, so they sound like this. I'm from Georgia. What? <laughs> you already have kind of a southern accent. No, but that's a Georgia accent. Is it? Yeah, everybody in Georgia sounds like this. I'm from Georgia. You know? Okay, chat. A cicada hole is seen in the soil after a heavy rain on the campus of of Wes of Wesleyan College in Bacon, Georgia. Damn. Thank you. I've been working on my Georgia accent. Is it gonna kill off the rest of the bees? We're already almost out of those. Um. Yeah. Well, but now we're replacing bees with cicadas. Do they make honey? No. I think they just make goop. I don't want cicada goop. That's not gonna go good on my toasts and in my coffees you do put honey in coffee sometimes if it's a latte the c's are replacing the b's i don't think they actually are i also don't know if they make goop then why'd you tell me they do i don't know it feels like that thing up there would have made goop what do you think it makes chat nightmares all it creates is nightmares it eats flowers and spits out sadness fuck i don't even think they eat flowers well you don't know what their diet is i think it's the dreams of children could be. We better keep reading. I'm going to read all this because I'm so scared. At times mistaken for voracious and unrelated locusts, periodical cicadas are more annoying rather than causing biblical economic damage. They can hurt young trees and the fruit crops, but it's now widespread and can be prevented. Okay, there's hope for us. There's a chance we can fight back, but we're going to have to find the mine cicada and send our drunkest pilot up the cicada hole and it'll say america's back i'm back motherfuckers and then all the cicadas explode at once or because they lose the control of the queen that's just independence day but it's how you beat bugs those weren't even bugs they're more like tentacle things tentacle bugs isn't that more like an octopus they were more bug than octopus i'm pretty sure the things from independence day are more squid than octopus no they're more bug than squid Wait, you said more squid than octa... All right, we're not a debate show. Uh, well, that's not... the Yes, okay. We're, we're getting sidetracked, and the problem is that there's actual bugs. It's the biggest bug emergence in centuries. Our app correspondent, AP. Who? Austin Powers? Oh, my God, whatever. AP app correspondent Julie Walker reports on cicada get and two cicada broods that are about to infest the us. The largest geographic brood in the nation called Baroodex 1X. Is that like a rapper? No, that's the cicadas. Baroodex 1X? I think that's a rapper. No, it's the brood of cicadas. Well, agree to disagree. I'm curious what Baroodex 1X's tracks is like. 
Don't know why they're bringing them up in the middle of this story. And coming out every 13 years is about to march through southeast, having already created countless boreholes in the red Georgia clay. It's a sure sign of the coming cicada occupation that emerge when the ground warms to 64 degrees. And guess how many degrees Celsius that is, Case? 17.8. I, I can just read it. You never want to play a game. Well, I wouldn't honestly. I wouldn't know, but it's just it's right in front of me. Anyway, climate change. What? <laughs> I don't know. It's somehow it was related. Uh, it's happening earlier oh, due to climate change. Etymologists say the bugs are brown at first, but darken as they mature. Just like humans, we start so innocent. And as we age, the darkness overtakes our eyes. And soon we cannot but say, shit's fucked. Yeah, man, deep stuff. <sighs> Trillions of evolution's bizarre wonders, red-eyed periodical cicadas are about to emerge numbers not seen in decades, impossibly centuries. App video. Oh, let's see. Remove the video. Seeing the insects appear in large numbers in Georgia and the rest of the southeast. Cicada cousins. Is that like kissing cousins? No, it's bug cousins. Oh my god, that's even worse. Bug cousins? There, there's no stopping them. They've got cousins, they have uncles. They probably have bug uncles. Oh, my God. Bug uncles? What the fuck are we going to do? They come out every 17 years. We'll in in inundate Ill Illinois. They are Brood X3. These rappers' names is getting out of control. Chet, it's all in one sentence. They're clearly talking about the cicada broods. <sighs> the royal family? I wouldn't be surprised if they're involved in this. They've had it out for America ever since we said we refuse to drink tea. I'd say it's a failing of the modern schooling system, chat, but we're honestly pretty old. What's a failing? You are. So is you. True. Okay. You've got one very widely distributed brood in Brood X1X, but you have a very dense, historically abundant brood in the Midwest. Your brood X3, said the University of Maryland. Itamangulis Mike Raup. I'm American. I drink British tea. <sighs> Traitor. I'm sorry, Anthony, but you're betraying your country. The, fi the principles this country was founded on is never drink tea. We hated that shit. We literally tried to throw it back into the ocean. We said, give it back to the sharks. Is that what they said? That was the rallying cry of George Washington. He said, give the tea to the fucking sharks. This is America. And then he stabbed some king in the fucking eye. And that's why they called the king of British the one-eyed king. I don't even know where you're pulling that from. I just used to fall asleep in history class and dream. It's not a great way to learn, but it's a great way to see. And when you put those two together, I've, what are you even talking about? Let's go back to the story. This is about the Zacadias again. Anyway, when you put broods together or some shit, when you combine rappers, you have more than anywhere else at any other time. Basically, the rappers and the Zacadias are combining. Now there's going to be more than ever. And they look like there's a little poop in this guy's hand. Oh, they're just little guys. Oh, are they just little guys? They're little guys. I could beat this shit up. You could beat up that bug. I could take this fucker out, no problem. That guy's tiny. I think I could beat him with just one hand. What if there's a million of them? I got fast-ass hands. I think if I windmill my hands around fast enough, I could take out every one of these cicadas. I don't think you need to, though. I don't even think they're that big of a, of a problem. Well... But they've done, due to global warming, their superpowers. They probably need to send me to Georgia so I can take them out. Georgia Institute of Technology biophysicist Saad Balma holds a periodical cicada nymph in his hand. He's a fucking freak, dude. He's holding a nymph right in his hand. God damn, dude. There's no limit to what some people will do. I don't think he's doing anything with a cicada. He's got it right in his hand, dude. That's messed up. This guy's a fucking freak. Okay. Yeah, okay. These hideaway cicadas are found in the eastern United States. And a few other tiny... Oh, I never even put up the headline. This is about cicadas. In case anybody's wondering. I think we got that shot. Cicadas are cool? Really? They fucking chill? They probably are chill, Chad. Maybe you don't need to be so against cicadas. 
Are cicadas chill? Do I need to apologize to the cicadas for fucking going so hard on them? Maybe they deserve an apology. You are being a little harsh on the cicadas. Well, let me make sure they don't piss me off for the end of this story. These hideaway cicadas are found only in the eastern United States and, and a few other tiny places. There are 15 different broods that come up every few years on a 17 and 13 year cycle. You said a 16 year cycle. You're full of shit. I might be a 17. I just remember I turned the age and they're like, oh, your, your birthday's on the cycle. That's the thing my dad said. Well, if your dad said it, then I will trust your daddy. I don't say it like that, but I did. There are two broods may actually overlap, but probably not interbreed in a small area near central Illinois. Uh, etymology, Sid. Man, they're making me burp. You just burp all the time, Chet. Well, maybe it's because of these stories. Anyway, the numbers that will come out this year, averaging around 1 million per acre, over hundreds of millions of acres, are mind-boggling. Easily hundreds of trillion, maybe quadrillions. Fuck, I don't think I can windmill that many. My arms are fast, but I don't think they're that fast. How many is this per second? How many is that per second? Two? Fuck, that's probably not enough. I'd probably take out about two trillion at that rate. At what rate? Two trillion per minute. Because you take out two a second, the math adds up. An even bigger adjacent joint will emerge. What are you talking about again? We're back to the cicadas. Keep up. An even bigger adjacent joint emergence will be when the two largest broods, X1X and XIV, the two of my favorite Super Bowls come together in 2076, Cooley said. Really, man, that many Super Bowls? Yes. I like it when they name it after letters. They're numbers, Chet. They're just Roman numerals. They're, uh, this is America, man. The origin of some of the astronomical cicada numbers can likely be traced to Evolution, Cooley, and several other intimately just said. Fat, slow, and tasty. These guys taste good? Uh, well, maybe not for humans. Oh, they make ideal meals for birds, but they just said tasty like generally tasty. Mm. If Casey Zero is around, maybe they can confirm. Should I try one? I mean, you're going to have an opportunity if you're in the vicinity. There's going to be millions per acre. We eating cicadas? Maybe we eating good tonight, boys. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know what you mean. I, I want to try it. I'm sure somebody's eating a cicada. Cicadas have a nutty green, almost peeled shrimpy look taste and texture. That's coming from Live and Sleazy, who literally always knows what they're talking. Eh? What they're talking about. Eh? Listen up, Chet. Eh? Okay, you don't have to. Okay, good. Uh, his school put out a cicada cookbook called Cicadalicious. Oh my God. It's like Fergalicious, but even more next level. That's one of my favorite cookbooks ever. Fergalicious? It's not a cookbook. It isn't? I thought that song was a cookbook. You get or something hot, hot. You thought a song was a cookbook? Fergalicious. Let's check this shit out. Cicadalicious. Oh my God, look, it's free. This cookbook is free. It's, it's little here, but this is a full ass PDF of, of recipes. Can I scroll in? Can I zoom the fuck in on this shit? Zoom way in, computer enhance. Computer, enhance. Computer. That's not how it works. Please, computer, enhance. It won't do it. You can figure it out eventually. Zoom, bitch. Yeah. Zoom, please. Oh. <laughs> Ingredients. 30 nearly mere cicadas. Two tabia, two tibips, and these seeds. One tisp salt. Two cups rice wine, additional water and rice with eight cloves mashed garlic, calorie to garnish, turnip greens to garnish. Shanghai cicadas. I do like Shanghai food. You <laughs> like Shanghai food? I'm a huge fan of Shanghai food. Sounds racist? It does sound slightly racist. But is it to bugs or Asians? Who are we offending? Well, I don't think we care if we offend bugs, but we should because there's trillions of them and they're coming for us. Um, <laughs> what's another recipe? Let's find a, let's find a less culturally insensitive recipe. Uh, okay, uh, this is cicada stir fry. That's some basic ass shit. Onions, coriander, ginger root, carrots, cow, cauliflower, chestnut sprouts, snow peas. Blanched, to cicadas. 
That sounds lovely. It does it? It just sounds like stir fry with bugs in it. Well, yeah, but most of that sounds lovely. General Cicada Cicada. <laughs> Shapeshifter, maybe that's in here. Let's search. I'm going to search just general and see. Oh, there's not. Unless it won't search this document. El Chirper Tacos. Wow. Okay. Butter and peanut oil. A half pound newly emerged cicadas. Just a half pound. That's easy reps. Easy. You're lifting the bugs into my stomach. That's an easy amount to handle. I can eat a half pound of almost anything. What? I can't. I can eat a half pound of steel. Well, you can't. That would kill you. I eat steel for breakfast. You literally don't, Chet. Anyway, serrano chilies, tomato, finely chopped onion, a, a, a ground pepper cumin, taco seasoning, cilantro, it, it's a sour cream, a cheddar cheese, shredded lettuce, taco shells to serve. This is a classic dish. It's just tacos with bugs. Everything in here is just going to be any meat dish with bugs instead of the usual. Named after El Chirper, who is responsible for effectively mass murder and narcotics. Oh my gosh, so racist. El Chirper Tacos. I can't believe they're calling out the Chirper. I've never heard of El Chirper. You never, you gotta brush up on your drug criminals. I don't know. Well, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll take Skymer's word for it. I mean, shapeshifters and Skymer's. I'll take anybody's word for it. You're so gullible. Not like me. I know that these bugs are coming to kill us. You do seem to know that, Chet. And, I, and thus I continue. Birds everywhere will feast. Okay, let's get some scary music for this. Birds everywhere will feast. Their bellies will be full and once again, the cicadas will emerge. Triumphant, Raup said. The other way cicadas use their numbers or, or math, they're no math now, great, is in their cycles. They use underground either 13 or 17 years, both prime numbers. Do you think that's an accident? Those big and odd numbers are likely an evolutionary trick to keep predators from relying on predictable emerges. That means fucking lions and bears is also doing math. All these animals is learning math. How long do we even have? Back to you, Case. Back to me for what? There's still so much of the story left. Oh. The cicadas can cause problems for young trees in nurseries when they're mating and nesting ways down and breaks branches. Ew! Uh, actually, it's pretty normal looking there. It just looks like a bug. How come it grossed you out so much? Well, I was imagining it really big. And a, a birthday party. I like... It crashes my birthday party and I'm like, fuck, huge bugs here. Everybody's like, just let them chill. I'm like, God, I don't like his vibe. That made you say you? That's what made me say you. That's just cicada nymph, and it's wiggling upside down. That's another thing about cicadas, at least in Virginia, back in the day when I used to run into them. They were really dumb. They'd slam into the ground. They'd all kill themselves. <laughs> they, don't, they only live for a couple days, I think. They can barely fly. They, it feels like they're born to die immediately. And that's, and, and that's only the good bug die young. Because the good bug is a dead bug. It's an ugly planet. A bug planet. You've seen Starship Troopers? I don't know. Periodical cicadas look for vege vegetation surrounding mature trees. They can make and lay eggs and go underground to feast on roots. Not our roots. I love that movie. But they mean plants. And the roots run deep. Yeah, exactly. Uh, cicada experts who wrote a book on this year's dual emergence that makes America's sub suburbia periodical cicada heaven about human hell. Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah. It can be hard on the eardrums. I mean, all those cicadas get together. In those trees, they start caressing. It's like a singles bar with the male singing to attract mates, with each species having its own mating call. Can you imagine if you only had like a couple days to get laid and then your whole body exploded, including your penis? Uh, that's not how they die, Chad. Oh. Uh, but they do die. Well, they die like pretty quick. Yeah, they have short lives. Can you imagine if you only had like a week to fuck? You got to sort out your whole game when you're like a, a baby adult? Well, they're, you know, they're bugs. They experience time differently, probably. Maybe to them, it's like an infinity of week. Maybe. The clarity must be intense. 
yeah the the post cicada clarity i i'm feeling post cicada confusion it's because of how confusingly we're reading this now nah, i'm being as clear as possible the whole tree is screaming oh my god they're making the tree scream is nothing sacred oh well uh cicada safari app they track where cicadas are uh cooley said t cooley takes hearing protection because it can get so intense god oh my god look at this fucking thing that's from that resident evil game you've played it does look like one of those bugs yeah uh, well they were real all along man and it's bad like a bad screen those bugs need to get alpha dimes dating tips who's alpha dime hmm is that that alpha boot camp I don't know if I want to know about Alpha Dom. Alpha Dom. Uh, oh my gosh. Why do I have to sign in every time, TikTok? Why? Yeah. Let me in. Select two objects that are the same shape. Oh my God, Chet. You've got to try to do this. You do it. Um... Uh, 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 that was close. That was a close one. Did I do good? Why are you so close to the desk right now? Jeez up, man. Okay, whatever. I just wanted to find out who Alpha Dom was, and it's not even showing me now. Who the fuck is Alpha Dom? Updates from within the storm. Alpha Dom coaching class. Day 75 of Alpha Dom coaching classes. Let's see. Oh, what's good, everybody? What's crack All right, so it is day 75 of the Alpha Dom coaching classes, and I just wanted to check in. So after 75 days of classes, I'm not going to lie to you, I did expect the women to be lining up left and right and right and left, uh, but I, I am, in fact, still single. Uh, so uh, that's a big shocker to me. I want the source. I, I'm, I'm suspicious that this man is actually an Alpha Dom. I think he might be doing a bit. Alpha Dom dating classes. Alpha Dom home. Oh, well, here's a great website for you, Chet. What? Navigate the fog when it comes to women. It's time to level up. Contact me on Telegram. On the, the notorious site for good things happening there. Um, video course access. Discord. I'm, how do I see the class? How to be a super seducer? Isn't this just pickup artist POA? Isn't this part of the POA community? Probably. <laughs> I don't know. It's another fucking Andrew Tate type. Probably. But I am always curious to see them, you know, rant for a few seconds. Actual advice from Alpha Dom dating coach. Yeah. We, we don't. We don't know anything is, about that. Is this him? <laughs> No, not choking. My weakness, the thing I can't do. Only vanilla people, you know, know about that and do that too. Oops, sorry, my bad. Anyways, he's a specimen. Can we all agree on that? Okay, I don't know. This all seems, this is all kind of making me, this all smells like a McDonald's ball pit to me. Like a McDonald's ball pit? What does that even mean, Chet? I don't know, just my nostrils are filled with the smell of a McDonald's ball pit from even Googling this. They portray dating as Dark Souls. It is does seem to be a Dark Souls. Does seem to be a Dark Souls screen cap here. Well, there's nothing sexier than a man who is cursed to fight until his spirit breaks and he becomes hello. That's sexy. Oh, uh, that's sexy. Turns out that's 100% sexy. Can we focus on the cicadas? <laughs> you're the one who. Uh, you're the one. Well, that's yeah. That's in a sense. A dirt-dusted periodical cicada nymph wiggles its forelimbs. And, and look at that. This is the sex we need to talk about. Bug sex. It's, what, it's the sex that is coming for America. Bug sex? Bug sex is coming for all of us. And there might be no stopping it. Do we even want to stop it? Maybe we want the bugs to be happy. Maybe that's the bigger move. 
a bigger move, a bigger move, or to be the bigger bug. Anyway, courtship is something to watch. I'll bet. Kurtzky imitated the male singing, Fario, his pitch rising. Fario, like that. Fario, you know? I don't think I've ever heard you go that high pitch, uh, Chet. Fario, yeah, yeah, that's how I sing. La, 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 la. Pretty good. I could be a cicada if I wanted. She flicks her wings. Oh, shit. This is getting kind of steamy and sexy. Do we have sexy music? That's not sexy. Can we get some fucking sexy music? Yeah, she flicks her wings, Christy narrated in a play-by-play. -play. He moves closer. He sings. She flicks her wings. When he gets really close, he doesn't have to gap. He'll go. He'll go like this. He'll go. Fario. 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 Yeah, I mean, um, yes, the mating is consummated with the female laying eggs in a groove in a tree in a branch. And I, I, that's how you know the date went good. I make ladies do that shit all the time. Lay eggs in trees, you know, kind of no limit to how. Sensual, I can get. The cicada nymph will follow the ground and dig underground to get the roots of a tree. Intense insect sex, exactly. I mean, you ain't, you, you tried doggy style, but have you tried bug style? What is bug style? A lot of goos and pincers. That sounds terrible if you're fucking vanilla, not like me. Check killed that tongue twister. Yeah. Cicadas are strange in the way that the trees die, die, trees die them, which carry water and some nutrients. What's a tree xylem? I honestly don't know. I can't help you there, Chad. It's probably just a part of a tree. Oh, yeah, you get an award for knowing it's part of a tree. <sighs> Trying to do science. Oh, shit. I could have done this as a science segment. It's not enough science. It's mostly bug. Bug is science. Bugs can be science. Sometimes bug isn't science. This is almost, this is bug science. Well, we're going to call it not science. <laughs> Dang it. The pressure inside the xylem is lower than the outside, but a pump in the cicada's head allows the bugs to get fluid that it otherwise wouldn't be able to get out of the tree. But all science is bug? Bug is science? Can't tell. Should I send it to the science room? We'll do a different science thing some other time. We're going to count this as news. How's this news? It's bug, which is science. I don't know how to, I don't know, Chad. I just don't know. Did he say a bunch of goos get me out of this? Oh, I can see the Instagram. There's an Instagram chat as well now. And I see you there, goo. There's a goo in the Instagram chat. Yeah, goo11882. One of our classic Instagram viewers. This is our first day on Instagram. Yeah, we already got a goo viewer. Well, I guess that's, that's goo for us. We both like that. Yeah, we both like that. We both like that. <clears throat> anyway, anyway, there's how oh, this is a long bug story, but we're close now. This Katie gets so much fluid that it has a lot of liquid waste to get rid of. It does so thanks to a special new school that created a jet of urine that flows faster than in most any other animal. They're pissing harder than anybody. I take it back. I like these bugs. You like them because they piss hard? I mean, you got to respect any animal that can unleash the urine at a high rate. A jet of piss? Exactly. Like, that, that's piss. What does that mean? I just respect the piss. If you got a strong stream, that's a sign of good health. And a strong mind, strong spirit, good piss. Okay. It's just a personal preference. I don't know you're into pee stuff. I'm not into pee stuff. I respect pee stuff. It's not all about sex. Okay, in Lincoln, Georgia, T.J. Rawls was planting roses and hollies this week when he came across a cicada while digging. A neighbor had early po already posted an image of an early emerging creator. Rawls said, Rawls named his bug Bobby. He said he's looking forward for more to come. Well, he's going to have to come up with about a, a trillion more names because there's a lot. I think it will be an exciting thing, Rawls said. It will be bewildering with all their noises. And I, for one, 
welcome our strong, pissing, hard, fucking, cicada nymph friends. Look, I relate to a lot of aspects of you. You procreate like hell. You go hard in the paint. You make tons of noise during sex. You do it bug style, and you piss harder than anybody. Even though I was afraid at first, I welcome you as brothers in bug. And I say to you, I'm not bugged to have done the news, but the news was done by me, of which it is done now because of the chet that I am was here. What? Yeah, I don't know. I also don't know what. Okay. Call for an expert. What expert are we? do we dare to call in? Well, let's see. We got... Ah. Can we get an interview with a cicada? I don't see why not. Pepito, can you get a cicada up on the screen for us, please? Um, yes, yeah, yes, okay, he sounds, doesn't sound terribly confident, but we're going to go for it anyway. <clears throat> um, it's an ugly planet. It is a bug planet. Hmm, where's a, where, where are the bugs at? Where are my bugs at? Uh, uh, hmm. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm having trouble getting. I'm having trouble getting on the line with the cicada. Where my bug exactly? I know there's one. Hmm. Oh my god. Terrifying. A terrifying creature is approaching us. <laughs> okay, we're going to count this. Um, look, we're a serious news outfit here. Sometimes the news acts fast. You got to get your guests on the line ASAP. And even if it's a bug, everybody deserves a voice. So please welcome um, a cicada. Cicada seem to have emerged early. Minutes? What? Um, I I can't. too desperate. You gotta be cool about this. Um, hey, what's up, girl? Or guy, I don't know. I didn't have time to figure it out. But, you wanna fuck? No, that's not chill enough. <laughs> to invite them up to, to, invite somebody up to play, um, Smash Brothers. Uh, you're a Smash Brothers to get I'm a bug. No, Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers? Smash Brothers. <laughs> Sing at them. I know. Um, I know a lot of chingy songs. You know chingy songs? I don't know why I know chingy songs. I just became sentient. Actually, you're way more sentient than you should be. Why have I been burdened with awareness? All I want to do is fucking die. Um. Uh, well, you're going to do at least one. Which one? Uh, I'll let you figure it out. <laughs> Any questions for the cicada? <laughs> Smash Brothers, it's been a while, but I can handle more than one at a time. Good for you, Microphone 900. Look, uh, Cicada, I don't know, man, or or woman, um, creature. 
You brought on Britain's Got Talent or whatever? I don't know. Are you, are you sure you're even a cicada? No. I don't know what I am. I just know I don't have much time. Uh, fuck, Mary kill. Yourself? A different bug. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh, good question. Okay, you gotta marry Dwayne because he's rolling in that money. And you gotta fuck another bug. Which means I don't know I have to die. Yeah, sorry. I guess that was... I set you up there. Oh, my God. I don't have long to live. Um, die fucking. Fucking die or fucking die. I probably both. I probably both. It will kill me. <laughs> I'm not even sure if that's true. I honestly don't know how cicada biology works, even though I just read, like, a whole story on it. I wasn't really paying attention. What? Why? I don't know. Uh, is John Cicada a cicada? Yeah. John Cicada is a, John cicada, is a cicada? Yeah. Okay. This reminds you of an ASMR video you saw recently? I don't know what ASMR videos you're watching, Shapeshifter. The good ones. I'm over here. Let me procreate on you. On you? Or in you. I don't know. I was just born and I have to fucking die. Um. Okay. Well, best of luck with that, Cicada. Uh, you should have a lot of options. There's potentially trillions of you. I don't see any other ones. Because you came up way too early. Oh, no. I came early. That's one of the only ways you don't get laid as a bug. Sorry about that. Are you using a uh, hockey to fly in one piece? <laughs> like in one piece? No, I'm flapping my wings. You don't you're you you do not have any wings. What? Ah! Oh my god, that, that cicada just fell. <laughs> that cicada just fell Looney Tune style. Nobody say anything. Just act like nothing happened. <clears throat> Damn. It fell right into my mouth. I'll never tell. <laughs> I just have a high-pitched voice sometimes, guys. I'm pushing it down for you to seem like a hyper-masculine news guy. But secretly, I got a, I got a high-pitched baby voice. This is my real voice. And this is the this is the fake one. <clears throat> Boyfriend crashes car and dies ASMR. I don't think I can click on that. I don't think I can... I don't think those are chill ASMRs for me to study to. Alright. Well. Damn. We learned so much. We came so far and learned so hard. And in the end, we talked to a bug. Um, let's... Let's go down to the lobby. I guess I'll send it to Munch and Crumb. I haven't talked to them. Well, I don't talk to them. I haven't let them talk to each other in a minute. I don't even know what they're debating. Well, probably something. Oh, you know what? We need a new stream goal. Let me update that real quick. <clears throat> I think we said we were going to make Leon a theme. Crumb is probably riddled with cicadas. That sounds like the kind of thing that would happen to him. Thanks, Sauce. Thanks so much for the raid. Hope you had a great stream. We were just talking to a bug. You didn't miss too much. Just bug chatting. The bug died. It was debatably my fault that I introduced it to Looney Tunes physics. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you had a good stream. Let's update this goal. Leon theme. And we've already gotten some subs today, so we won't even do the 15. Oh, you know what? I might have not thanked some people. Um, Radium, thank you so much for the 17 months. Uh, apologies, I was so thrown off by my own tech issues. Giggle Trash, thank you for uh, the community sub. And uh, Call Me a Realist for the 10 bits. Microphone 100 for the classic and much appreciated 750. Um, and I think I got everybody. Oh, uh, Graham, Graham CD, 17 months. Oh my God, 17 months. Apple Dapple also with the resub. Five months of dappling all over me. And I love every dapple you send my way. Loop Chef stream? Uh, not prohibited. I mean, if <laughs> I would love for Comcast 
to sue me for the rights to uh, Lube Chef. I'm not too worried about it. We can do a Lube Chef stream at some point. Um, I still have that apron somewhere to give him. Otherwise, he'll just be cooking nude. Man, I should really keep pushing Lube Chef until I somehow piss off Comcast. That would make me really happy to just get financially ruined by Comcast over Lube Chef. Oh, Lube Chef could be against TOS. Maybe it's an Instagram only stream. I can only do it on Instagram. 30 second delay to protect us. Imagine being an attorney in charge of defending Lube Chef. I do think it would be important that Lube Chef show up in court if that were the case. I mean, if that's what they were litigating. Unfortunately, I just, I don't think Comcast gives a shit about Lube Chef, which is fair. That is the fair response. Well, let's, uh, while we think of <laughs> the legality of Lube Chef, send it over to Munch and Crumb. Maybe they can debate this or they can debate anything. We'll figure it out. It's time for Munch and Crumb. Whoa. What the hell? Give it up for us. Oh my god, this is craziness. Why did Chet Manscaped's face come up? Give it up for me and zoom in instead of out. There we go. Pepito's on one today, folks. What can you do? Uh, good to see everybody in chats. I'm once again climbing back to the top. Easily won the last one, and I'm sure that incredible trend will continue today. No reason to believe it won't. But a great reason to believe that uh, maybe life's not worth living is the face of the man next to me. It's a mutant. It's crumb. Well, um, oh my God, you have such a cone head today. My head is always the same shape. It's legitimately not. And today it is just wildly cone headed. It changes. You're a changeling. It looks, I, I can't, I, we don't have a monitor in here. I'm assuming I look. No, you really don't. Uh, well, good to see everybody. Um, I, you're not going to throw me off by insulting my appearance. I'm used to it at this point. I'm sure you are. I'm sure no one's ever seen your appearance and complimented you. <sighs> crumb, crumb, crumb. See, there's some crumb heads in chat. Well, they can't help it because the shape of your head is fucking puncturing their screen. You're like a spear. Fucking lance of, lance of long ass thrown straight through Jesus' heart, killing God himself. What? And you look like shit is all I'm saying. Ugh, okay. Um, well, that's nothing new. Um, look, I don't even know what we're debating today, but uh, I'm excited to keep climbing up. Uh, at this point, it's soon to be called Mount Crumb. You'll never have a mountain. You'll never even have a hill. If anything, you have a hole that you should put your head in where you can't breathe and asphyxiate yourself. Stop telling me to die. I refuse. <sighs> Jesus asked to die again when he shot <laughs> No! Oh, you like that one, though. That one resonated with you. Maybe it's true. Jesus didn't ask to die. It's offensive. As a proud Christian, I'm offended by that. You're, you like it. I don't like I He didn't ask to die when he saw me. He he did, I think. I think Jesus did. Uh, fire the door crumple. <laughs> Everyone can see how insane you look. What is, why do people have such a response to a bald man? I think it's jealousy. No one's ever jealous of your lack of hair. Just get over it. You will never have made anyone jealous for a second. The only feelings you create are negative, repulsion, anti-jealousy. You could be like an anti-jealousy machine. If anyone's feeling low, they wheel you in and they're like, you could be this guy. And then everyone, you know what? Maybe that's the way to world peace is the new political, the new political slogan is, hey, at least we're not crumb. <sighs> yeah. Cat got your tongue? No thanks. That cat would even reject that shit. It'd say, Jesus Christ, I'd rather eat my fucking own asshole than have this man's tongue in my mouth. Um, look, I just am waiting for something to debate. Uh, who's the real killer, OJ or the field? <laughs> I don't think we can do that one. Uh, OJ or the field? I don't even quite get that one. I'm too stupid for that one. I'm not. I get it. What, what does it mean? I don't know. The field. Uh, <laughs> Achieve <laughs> Achievement, the incel cat? <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, that's me. Your achievement, the insult cat. I'll take that. I'll get a little cat puppet. It'll be like, instead of a uh, vaguely Spanish, it can be, what's an accent I can safely do? 
I don't know. French? Can I do French? I don't think you could do French. La la la. I'm a fucking cat. Uh, fuck you. That, that's terrible. That's Even for you, those are bad insults. Well, I'm not trying yet. I have to find the cat character. Are bugs science? Is science bugs? Or they're bugs. I mean, there can be a topic within scientific discussion. I don't think there's anything to debate there. That's very wrong. Bugs is always science. In what sense? The sense that, duh. Ugh, okay, I guess let's debate this topic. I mean, it's fine. It's a layup victory for me. They're not science. They're bugs. They can be a topic within a field of science. Sex Luther with that chest hair flowing. Ha <laughs> ha, they're talking about me. No, that Lex Luther is bald. No, he's not. He fights Superman. No bald man could fight Superman. No, he's famously bald. No way Lex Luthor's bald. He, he very much is. What? Gene Hackman had hair. Well, but that was an alternate universe. Didn't Kevin Spacey have hair? Well, no, we're not even allowed to remember that he was Lex Luthor. Yeah, we are. Hair or no hair. Eat bugs or don't eat bugs? I thought we were debating if bugs are science. No, only you want to do that. Everybody's curious. Lex Luthor, did he have hair or not? No. He legit, that's not even, that's just one you could Google and see. Almost all the popular depictions, he's a bald man like myself. Honestly, other than being a villain, in some ways, an inspiration. How? Of course he's an inspiration. Because he wants to destroy everything good in the world. Look, but he's not bald. Jesse Eisenberg or Michael Shara, who's the better Lex Luthor? Was Michael Shara Lex Luthor? We don't know enough about this man, apparently. Or you don't. To debate this subject. Okay, eat bugs or not eat bugs? Obviously. Hmm. Is it a power move to eat a bug? Yes. So yes, we had to think about it. I mean, why eat bugs? It's sick. They fuck those bugs. What? Why fuck the bug? I don't know. Power move. You think I won't eat you because you're gross? Yes, I will. All right, fine. I mean, I would prefer not to eat bugs, so I'll happily defend the non-bug eating side of this argument. All right, fine. If we got a mod that can make that, I guess that's what we're going with because somebody's too afraid to debate Lex Luthor or science. Okay, well, um, that, I don't think that's how that went, but that's fine. Um, look, uh, nothing against... Nothing against bugs eating them as a necessity, but if you have a choice, I mean, is it really anyone's first choice? Are people batting it down the hat? Are people rocking up to the Starbucks counter saying, when's, when's the new, you know, uh, bug egg witch coming out? Why the fuck would anybody... Nobody goes to Starbucks because they love the food. Well, sure, I mean, I love it. We're not even debating it. We're debating if you should eat bugs. And look, I get it, they're a little gross. They're a little gross. We're gonna be little babies. We're gonna be little baby anti-bug boys saying, oh, I can't do it, it's too creepy crawly. No, are we gonna be powerful, masculine, uh, feral creatures, which we are all capable of being if you unlock your mind in my course, Alpha Feral Bro Power, and eat some fucking bugs, because we ain't fucking babies. This ain't baby food, this ain't baby planet. We're powerful creatures with mandibles and teeth, and we gnaw at things. And if you see something moving around, it is your God-given duty to try to eat that shit. That's what makes us human. What makes us human is just eating shit. That's probably the most human thing of all. There's almost nothing we won't eat. We've tried it all. We're making fucking bug gazpacho, you know? We eat fucking dirt, we drink grass, we do all sorts of crazy shit. I bet people eat rocks, they try to eat metals. Why not eat a couple bugs? Of course you should, they're probably good. Cicadas is apparently delicious. There's cicada kung pao chicken or some shit. You saw that dumb guy talking about it. Ooh, case, I mean, yeah, but I don't think the point there was that it's good. Uh, I'm not saying you can never eat bugs. Yes, you are, this man is coming for your right to eat bugs. He's the big fucking nanny crummerman and his fucking torpedo head, he's trying to sink your battleship. All you're doing is out there fishing for bugs and eating some good home, down home American cicadas. There's literally trillions of these things. What is it? Irresponsible not to eat these motherfuckers. They're even more prevalent than fucking cows, which we also have trillions of. It's your fucking duty to eat bugs. So do that duty and fucking swallow up, baby. And I talked loud enough that I easily fucking did it yet again. I win. Yes. I told you I was on the fucking munchback. I'm the munchback of Notre Dame, and I didn't even have to burn that shit down. So you admit that you're on a comeback because you were behind. I'm literally, I've always been ahead. I have literally always been ahead. There's a feeling that I 
I just, I, it's not even important to point that out. It's just a fact that I am and forever will be fucking ahead of you. And I just want to get update my fucking score, little baby Crumpito. Why Crumpito? Because you have a torpedo head. Chad already established that. Munch for mayor. Uh, well, look, uh, we've been on such a powerful crumbback that um, a, a little setback of, of being five points down isn't going to cost me anything. It's like the end of fucking Avengers. Crumb's looking at his score in the weird water world with the orange sky. And his score is like, what did it cost you? And Crumb's like, everything. That's you right now. I don't even track what you're getting at. You're the end of Avengers. Thanos is looking at your score, but you're Thanos, so you're not strong like him. You're a weak, white Thanos looking at your score, which has the face of the baby version of that hot green chick. And, it's, and you're like, what did it cost me? And your score says everything. It still doesn't, that's just so abstract and insane. Can you just think for two seconds before you ramble? No. Of course not. Okay, well, um, we didn't get it today, guys, but I know that you're excited to see what happens when I surpass this man. So <laughs> just wait. We'll have to wait a couple days. Who knows? If it'll ever even happen. Just two losses and look what it's done to your confidence. Where'd it go? I'm feeling as confident as ever. If I have any rattled confidence, it has nothing to do with you. What, did you fucking... Did you poop the bed again? No, I didn't poop the bed. Did you uh, have a wet dream thinking about fucking bugs? Why would that be it? Did you... um? Mm, accidentally brush your teeth with your own semen? No. Oh, why did it take you so long to say no? I just, why would you even guess that? Well, if it's an accident. Why? My toothpaste is blue. Well, what color is your seed? I'm not answering that. Can, can we just raise the level of discourse on this program? Just just one inch out of the gutter so I don't have to muck up my mind and everyone else's with this frivolous stream of consciousness nonsense, this absolute sh sub vitriol fucking pond scum that you feed me to respond to every day. I think you brush your teeth with your own jizz. I guess there's some abstract chance that like... Uh, Bodily fluids could get on any toothbrush head in a bathroom if fluids are flying. What? I'm just saying, if we're to play devil, why are you playing devil's advocate? I didn't do that. I, I just, it feels like you did. It feels like you did. I didn't. Well, look, I mean, I guess we'll have to save that one for next time. I mean, it really feels like you did. I guess he's saying that he didn't. But I mean, I'll sit in the same time. Look at him. I mean, don't. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. But it seems like the kind of thing I guess he did. So just keep that in mind. And I'll keep nothing in my mind. I keep it free and clear so that infinite ideas can pour into it and come straight out my mouth. And they'll come straight out my mouth at you next time. See you soon. Turn your thing off, man. Why is it always on? He's not here, I swear. Or he is, but he's not on right now. One second. I'm going to fix that. I'm going to fix that. Woo! Also, we're streaming earlier today. In the interest of finally not crossing the streams with Kasim. I managed to actually stream at one o'clock. Hopefully Kasim isn't on. <laughs> My hope is to raid him later. 
All of today, maybe he won't stream. But anyway, I'm going to try to stream closer to one from now on. It seems like a reasonable time to do it. So, you know, why not? Okay, there we go. Cast isn't streaming until midnight. I don't understand his schedule. What is the meaning of his schedule? His schedule says three. Okay, nice. A strong alpha move from Cass, forcing me to change my time. Honestly, I never really had a time. I have not really ever had a consistent time. So this is a vain attempt to try to get one, but maybe I can just stream at one o'clock every day. That would, be, if I can manage to keep up a schedule, who knows what kind of wonders that would do for my decaying mental health. All right, let's do a little more news. I'm debating, I don't know what chat feels about gaming. But I, I could also switch to Resident Evil for the back half of this stream today. You know, my usual two hour marathon here. I could do some I could do some next generation last year's top game gaming. <clears throat> bow, bow. It is. It's really hard to, to manage all uh, 30 schedules that I've created here. But is game science? a good question oh god I'll chirper tacos let's do some entertainment news L enough of the serious bug news let's do some entertainment news supermarket simulator I have to beat Resident Evil I have to do it I also kind of want to get to 600,000 citizens in classic any SNES SimCity I could try Supermarket Simulator. I am curious. I do also have Pal World. I could become, you know, I could play more games than just Resident Evil, I guess. But I, I don't know if I want to poach on uh, Kasim's territory. You know, he's the one with all the supermarket management expertise. Boom, boom. What's Munch's deal? Ask Goo, our number one Instagram viewer. Munch is just kind of an asshole, I'll be honest. But he's confident. I'll give that to him. Crumb, also kind of an asshole, but less confident. But in his own way, more confident. Wait for Palward to actually fully release. Oh, you're making 100 hours and no ending in sight. That's not that much of an issue for me. I feel, I feel like that's the kind of game I probably wouldn't finish considering that i've already played it a little bit and not finished it <laughs> i might just have to wait to hop on the next big trend which i probably will will slightly miss just because that's uh i like to do things about a year late oregon trail <laughs> all right first things first resident evil then oregon trail but first let's take it to some entertainment news that just made me realize I could make I could make a graphic for different types of news. That's so unnecessary. It's the kind of thing I'll almost certainly do at some point. Anyway, let's send it over to our correspondent for some more important news. It's still your vagina. Don't let them take it from you. Okay. I feel like I just get up. Our ladies could against me. They want me to come. Okay, cowboys. What are we doing today? We're talking all sorts of noses or something? It's not it. Uh, Liz Hurley's son admits to filming his mom's sex scene felt normal. Well, what's the story here? Sounds normal to me. Gird your loins. Yeah, exactly. Uh, weather news. Weather news, actually, I do want to do, but I think I have to wait to move, which I've been waiting for for quite a while. Just because there's not... Believe it or not, there isn't, there somehow isn't room in this studio. There isn't room in here? For some Wesla? Well, there is. But the way I want to do it would, uh, would kind of, I was kind of hoping you'd get a second angle going. I don't know. You'll barely master the one. Yeah, I got at least several angles. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, ah, oh. So that's the Instagram. I can just view my own Instagram on my own stream. 
Yeah, once the roosters move in next door, I'll know what time to start the weather report. So that's important. Anyway, what's going on with Liz early, son? I don't know, some sort of sex thing? Your favorite story to cover? Is a horny type? Isn't that your favorite story to cover? I mean, depends what kind of horny. Well, this sounds more like incest ho horny. Well, that's the vibe. The vibe is incest, but maybe the intention was just filmmaking. And that's what we're here to figure out. Oh, okay, we're trying to figure out if this is filmmaking or a disturbingly popular porn category. Liz Hurley's son admits filming his mom's sex scenes felt normal. Let's look at the son. Ah, oh, shoot. Let me see this son. Uh, please let me see the son. Copy image, copy image link. All right, maybe that works. Is it? Okay. So this is what we're dealing with here. This is the son who honestly looks a lot like the mom. And I guess that's him filming his mom in a sex scene. Um, well, he's, we don't see him. We just have to assume he's behind the camera there. But the point is that he was comfortable. Don't look directly at the sun. Well, I, I, hopefully he instructed his mom like, I'm here, this is happening, but uh, don't look at me. Maybe they're just that comfortable. Maybe it's not sexual, it's artistic. I mean, the two aren't mutually exclusive. So, this is coming out as courtesy of uh, the LA Lad Bible. <laughs> the LAD Bible. Yes, the Los Angeles Defense Bible. Yeah, that's what it stands for, I think. Uh, signing up for sex scenes is brave as it is, but agreeing to get down and dirty with a fellow actress while your son is sat behind the camera is surely a means that Liz Hurley is downright dauntless. Oh, we're giving her credit. We gotta give everybody credit for this important achievement in cinema. Okay, the Austin Powers actress. Well, I guess that's still her main credit. Uh, said it felt liberating to work so closely alongside her child, Damien, on his directorial debut, which is due to be released later this week. Also, in case any, in case you have any new Instagram viewers, whoa, what the fuck just happened, Liliana? What? Nothing. Uh, I'm Liliana Breathing Schmidt. Okay, well, thanks for clarifying that for everybody. Yes, uh, she's starring an upcoming thriller, strictly confidential, alongside the likes of CBBC star George Locke, Lorne McQueen, Freddie Thorpe, Genevieve Gaunt, Pear Chiravara. And Max Parker. The film follows the journey of the haunted young woman who finds herself drawn into a world of seduction, duplicity, and betrayal as she desperately tries to thank Staunton for the five subs. <laughs> oh, is that the plot? The plot is thanking Staunton for those hot five subs. Good God. Uh, seriously, thank you, Staunton. <laughs> it's an interesting thing to cast your mom in, though, is your sex thriller. Well, I mean, if she's the right one for the role... It would be immoral not to cast her just because she's your mommy. I don't know. That doesn't sound great, actually, when you say it all together like that. Well, just sound it out slowly, Zane. What is going on? Stop it. I'm trying to... Your little thing here is being a naughty case. Your little things that you read with is being naughty. Let me try to fix it for you. Work, damn you. All right, it's not working. We're going back to the main story. <clears throat> the film follows the journey of a haunted young woman who finds herself... Okay, yeah, we read that. Take a look at the trailer. Can we look? Uh, I mean, if we're going to talk about it, usually we don't. We leave this kind of thing to Trent, but... Sure, you can watch it, Liliana. Just this once. Because it's, it's attached to a news article. Oh, goody, I get to watch a trailer. That day started so normally. Just another day... In paradise. Rebecca? Rebecca! Oh! Rebecca! No, Rebecca! It's been a year, sweetheart, without my Rebecca. She was my best friend. She killed herself. Sure. We came out here to reconnect and remember. It's actually the first time we've all been together since... Rebecca! It's strange being here without her. Can't grieve forever. To... Rebecca. Who was fucking who? Natasha. I never meant to hurt anyone. 
What? Okay, is this. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> Damien Hurley, not afraid. Rebecca, I'm sure of it. I'm sorry. For what? Never mind. <laughs> what is with these faces? Believe something was off. Maybe it was. I know what really happened to your friend, Rebecca. Can I help you? They've said Rebecca so I much. Lost a friend. She was a patient of yours. I'm afraid I can't divulge information about other patients with you. She was seeing a therapist under my name. No, not a therapist. She creates conspiracies. Why did she leave her note to you? I'm her sister. I hate myself. What we did. Everybody's so sad and horny. Come and find me. I'm losing my mind. You're worrying me. Oh! So watch out. What have you got there? What the hell is going on? A red You're question. We're drunk out of our minds. You bastards. You had enough of your lying, your cheating. To save her every second of hurting you. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh no, you killed Dad. Run! Oh! It My just God. Happened. Austin Powers, he's a man. I appreciate that someone in the trailer said, I'm bored. Did you actually, were you bored there? I mean, for me, if you want psychological sexuality, that's a little, that's a little basic for me. Everybody's just like, oh, oh no, somebody had sex and there's one dead person. You need, what do you need? You need more than that? Couple murders and a little bit of incest. That's the best you got. I don't think there was any incest in there. Well, the incest is implied behind the camera. It's a weird vibe. It's a weird vibe knowing the son is filming the mom. Sort of feels like the mom maybe didn't even need to have a sex scene. Given that the plot's about a different daughter? I don't. I don't know. But I hope Rebecca's okay. Yeah, what happened to Rebecca? Rebecca! 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 I don't know if she's going to make it. Uh, according to, oh, I can't find a comment. Someone said that there's no Rebecca in the movie. And I do think that'd be a powerful twist. There's no character named Rebecca. It, we've been tricked. No. Yeah, okay. Um, well, that's the trailer. How do they even, they're still talking about this movie and this article though. You'll have to watch Strictly Confidential. It's just, this is an ad for Strictly Confidential. I mean, honestly, on the whole, I think it's nice to make movies with your friends. I say support local cinema. How is this local cinema? Local to the Los Angeles nepotism scene. You know, Nepotopia. Oh, yeah, the part of Los Angeles called Nepotopia. Yeah, support your local nepotistic celebrity cinema. Where your weird model angular son makes a movie about you having sex with your daughter's friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, I guess that might be what that movie's about. It's mostly about women looking upset, is what I gathered from it. It's like women being like, oh. Basically, they all fuck, but then ladies make this face. Oh. You know? Uh, I don't know if I want the stream to be whatever that was. It's just me doing the movie. <clears throat> okay. Um. Great. Good work. Good work. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do good work. We covered that news story with the respect it deserves, and I appreciate you staying professional, Liliana. I'm just here to report the facts, and the facts today were... Uh, it's not exactly an incest movie, but it's got a little bit of incest flavor in case that's where your palate is. And uh, with that, I say... I ain't got a daddy or a mommy, so feel me doing whatever you want, baby Harley. See you later. The worst sign off yet. Great. <laughs> it sounds white lady goaded. It was a lot of, it was white beach teens. 
What if, what if white beach teens were sad? I guess it's an independent movie. If you're the son of a famous person, though, is it ever really an independent movie? I guess yes. They should let, yeah, they should just let him bring back the OC. I miss that show. My brother, not my brother, who could be my brother, was very into the OC in college. He and his, all of his male friends, he went to an all-male college, which I went to for one year. They'd get together, they'd watch the OC. They were very invested. I've only seen the first couple episodes because I came to it a little too late. But it seems like that Ryan guy had it rough. He's from a shitty part of LA with a mom that's drunk. <clears throat> He never stood a chance. Rebecca, the new Ryan, she could be. Rebecca! No! Don't watch your mom have sex. She's from the right part of town, but she spent her whole life watching her model mom have sex with her friends. Please tell me they weren't watching it from their sleeping bags. That's probably how it went in college, I think. All the guys would get together with their sleeping bags. They'd watch the OC. I'd probably do some drugs. <laughs> All right. Um, you know, we, where we haven't been recently in too long, honestly, is the streets. I got to check in on trip every once in a while, or who knows? You might fuse with the park, become one with the park. You can't have that. So if you have any thoughts, if you have any opinions, fire them up and put them in the chat. Trip will find them on the streets. Usually the first four or five. He's very good at finding a first come first serve trip Brad scene basis. So if you have any thoughts, put them in the chat. We'll check in with trip. We'll see how he's doing because it's time for trip on the street. Oh, it's good to be back. I actually never left, but you're back with me out here on these streets, my beautiful park, which I feel a strong sense of ownership over in the sense that we all own the beautiful park. I'm a man of the people, I'm a man of the streets, I'm Trip Brad Steve. So if you have any opinions, throw them in the chat. I'll be sniffing them out here on the streets. A lot of smells out here, but I can smell your opinions straight through all the pigeon and human stink. Some really smelly pigeons actually in this particular park. I don't know what that's about. A unique musk to the pigeons, I think. It's all the plastics in the shawarma that they eat out of the trash. Hope you're all having a great day. Good to see you all. Mungim, probably saying that wrong. Junk Dog Gearless Joe Nomad, Stony47. To our Instagram checker outers. Ooh, I see an Ian Ward, a Peter Baru. The fact that Case is on Instagram means that all of his friends uh, from other things have to be like, what the fuck is Case doing? And they're like, oh. <laughs> The people that never didn't even realize I was streaming are going to be like, huh? I mean, Case was. Who's this more handsome version of Case with beautiful hair? That's for smarter people than me to figure out. All right, let's talk to someone. I can tell that the streets are brimming with opinions. Um, and I can see some spicy ones on the horizon. So let's get them over here. Mm, excuse me. Uh, you there? I'm Trip Bradstein. Uh, do you mind talking to me? Oh. Oh. Wow. Trip Bradstein. Uh, hello there. Wow. Um, well, I'm a big fan. That's always great to hear. Oh. Hey there, uh, well, anyway, Trip, I'm Moosh Mush McMoosh Mush here, you know? Yeah, I see you. You know, it's insane to me that the letter Y is pronounced oh, and oh, Y sound, and the letter W is pronounced with a Y sound. Honestly, what were they thinking? I'm just upset no one's, it's like no one even talks about this. Mm, well, what would you have them say? Mush, mush, McMoosh, mush. It's a muck, mush. It's mush, mush, McMoosh, moosh. My bad. Muck, muck. Well, I mean, what do you want them to say? I just think the English language is uh, 
is a mess of contradiction. How come if I say I stink, but people think I have got more to say? This is a very butt focused stream. I forgot that. It's, all, it's just meant to be the end of the sentence. I stink, but. You mean your butt stinks? Yeah. Well, you're just saying it backwards. That's the craziness of language. And yeah, I mean, are you W? A W has a was. I don't know why has a. I don't understand your basic complaint. W is pronounced with a Y sound. Why? It's not. It's W. What? No, with the sound. Whoa. That's a Y sound. That's a W sound. Whoa. Um, I just, I guess, don't get W. Double W. Okay, I see it now. Yeah. Why? Well, now that's a Y sound. Or double Y. No, it's W. There should be a U in there. U? Why? Oh my God. Do not who's on first me. I will not get sucked into this. Why? Double Y. <sighs> You're not trapping me. Wah. 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 Okay, well. Thank you, Moosh Moosh, Meek Moosh Moosh. That's my name. Why oh, wear it out? I didn't find it. Find what? I just didn't. I was going to. I was trying to leave you with a real barn burner. But I think my basic point stands. The English language is a real, <laughs> it's a real mess. Yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. Big fan. At least he's a fan. <clears throat> um, let's see who else is out here today. But there's lots of people out on the streets that want to chat. Do 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 do. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Um, let's see who this is. Oopsie. Excuse me. Um, I see another hot opinion approaching. But what do you got to say to me? Oh my god. Is that Trip Bradstein? Um, yes. Howdy, Trip. Uh, hello, little fellow. Oh, it's my, can I talk to you about something? Um, that's, that's what we're here for. It's my opinion that former Mayor Munchcut is maintaining his immorality by means of cicada genetics. Okay, little guy, what makes you say that? I just think he needs to release the formula to the general population. At least give it, you know, to Chroma out of spite. What's the general formula? Cicada genetics. What makes you think he's immortal? He says he is all the time. M Munchcut, the guy who was debating earlier. Yeah, you ain't watched. Well, I'm out on here on these streets. He claims to be immortal. Yeah, and I think it's due to the genetics of the cicadas. Well, they die really quickly. Yeah, but they come back every 17 years, like a Dracula bug. I think, Dr I think Dracula comes back every hundred years. In the Castlevania lore. Uh, I'm a hamster. I don't know about that. In hamster lore, Dracula comes back every 17 years. Or 13. That's just cicadas. Exactly. So that's I think that Munchkut's becoming immortal using that. Well, you were a hamster, so... As insane as that theory is, I'm still impressed. Thanks. And I didn't know that hamsters had Dracula. They're on Dracula's. Yeah, they're drag, they're ham drag, hamulas. Yeah, to think about that. Well, there have been a couple di di variations of hamster Draculas. There was Dram Hacula. Dram Hacula? Yeah, there was ham, ham brokers, ham Dracula. Ham brokers, ham Dracula. That's one of the more popular ones. There was Dracula Lamster. Dracula Lamster. That's sort of the gritty 2000s reboot. And in that one, he's a hamster with things. What is he in the other one? A hamster with a cape. It took us a while to sort out 
all the parts of Dracula. And when we did, we named him Hamula. Ham Hamacula. I think you changed the name. Hamsteratu? We haven't gotten there yet. We're hamsters. I don't understand. How are there, why are there so many versions? Hamsters are a communal storytelling society. <laughs> I don't need this much hamster lore. You don't have to explain this much to me, hamster. Don't you want to know about the ins and outs of how hamsters spread their lore? I don't. Hamster Helsing. Yeah, but for us, that's a song about the devil. That's our devil went down to Georgia is Hamster Helsing. A hamster shows up and the hamster devil comes out who's called Hembel. Oh my god. <laughs> and Hembel says, I challenge you to run in a wheel faster than me and while, while singing. And that's why it's called Hamster Helsing because they're singing about hell while running. So, so for us, that's a different story. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, that's, that's enough. Thank you for the information. I don't need to know every hamster version of every story. It's a deep culture, though, with all of our own tales. That's fine. You don't want to know more? I'm fine. I'll tell you anything you want to know about hamster storytelling. It's a proud oral tradition, and we recently learned also how to rap. Oh, my God, please don't. We have enough of that on this stream. Okay, I'm just saying. What was the hamster not 11? Um... That's when they canceled Ham Taro on Cartoon Network. For us, it's a day we'll never forget. We were in our little cages. And the little boys and girls who own us, they turned on Cartoon Network at the time that Ham Taro was supposed to be on. And instead, it was Zatch Bell. Jesus Christ. That must have been really hard for you. It is a day we'll never forget. So sorry that Zatch Bell took that from you. Zatch Bell got us. Okay, well, um, thanks. Thank you. And let me know. I'll come back anytime. Okay, well, I think I got enough. Well, I mean, there's a lot more stuff I can say. I believe you. Okay, I'm a big fan. I'm a little guy, but I'm a big fan. He's kind of a huge floating mass of hamster, actually. I wouldn't describe him as little at all. Uh, looks like we're full on opinions for the day, by the way. Thank you so much. Bit on Insta is a vibe. Thank you so much. The vibe is, what's this doing on here? Okay. And I appreciate that vibe. Um, anyway, it looks like we do have a, a full docket of opinions for the day. So if you got them, I would advise just saving some more opinions for next time. I'll be back eventually. You never know when Trippy B will come slithering out of his hole. Actually, no, we do have room for one more opinion. I spoke too soon. We have room for one more. Anybody's got one more. And then I think we're full. Uh, but we're going to go to an opi another hot opinion is approaching me on these streets right now. And I love to talk to the people. Um, let's... Hmm, this one, that might be too questionable to talk to. Uh, okay, what's this guy's deal? Or gals. Yeah! Hello? A trip, yeah! Okay. Hey, trip, long time no see! Okay, you don't have to do this all time. Oh, wow! Alright. It's been like, what, 20 years? Um, yeah. I haven't seen you since high school! I went off and married the first girl that would talk to me! Ha <laughs> ha! Trip Branstein! Um, okay. What's your- Wah! Oh, Alright, you're excited, that's fine. Yeah! That was too loud. Yeah. yeah! You know? You know? Uh, all right. Um, what, what did you do? Oh, I, do you not remember me? I, 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 yeah. Listen, I got a lost her and uh, uh, look, <laughs> I, I married the first girl that would talk to me. All right, you're getting confused. All right, she dumped me, Trip, after a few months and it took a dark turn. Uh, okay. I got lost her in an unhealthy amount of allergy medicine, man. Uh, okay. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, yeah, I was high on an LNG. Okay. Uh, it's a lot. Anyway, I, almost two years I lost doing Claritin D, but two Claritin bottles a day. Two years of that are a blur. So what I want to ask is if you have any trips for finding God in a bar. Where is God? Uh, where is God? Where is God? Um, I don't 
know <laughs> how to help you. I don't know how to help you. You don't remember me? Uh, you, um, Mark? Lucky guess, man. You got it. You knew you knew me. Okay, your name is Mark. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How do I find God, man? God is a... What do you want from me? I want you to tell me how to find God, man. How do I find God? I've lost him somewhere. I am bound. Where is my God now? Show me the way to your God, your best day. What? Where is God right now? I need God. Show me the God place. I'm lost in somewhere deep in the sky with this big white beard. It's the monkey that finds me. The God in the sky and he's looking at me and he's saying, Where the hell I gone? Wait, you found him in that case. Okay, well, look, uh, I know music is not necessarily literal, but based on what you just said to me, he was looking right at you and asking, where is he? Oh, my God, he was right in front of me the whole time. Thank you, Trip. Yeah! I'm happy to help, Mark. We were best friends. Were we? <laughs> yep. All right. Well, thanks, Mark. Have a good one. I'll see you in another several years. Now that I've found God, I'm going to celebrate. With some Allegra. Don't do it, man. Don't go down that path. I need some Allegra. I gotta go. I, I want it. We want it. What the fuck? Help your friend? I tried to. I listened to his song. And I said... What? And I, to me, that's the most I can do. <clears throat> anyway, I think we're done. <laughs> Looks like no more opinions came down the opinion shoot. So, unless there's another one, I think that's a strong way to end it for the day, actually. So, I'll just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hide in my bush. If I get recognized too much, I think it's good for me to go hide. But thank you for all your opinions today. Thank you for the support. I'll be back out on these streets at some point. Maybe Case will actually get on a schedule. I fall asleep often because we're, I'm on East Coast time, technically, based on this looking like New York. Anyway, that's the whole thing. We'll get into it later on Trip Bad Scene. See you soon. great to see Trip and Mark back together. You know, friends reunited. Trip and Mark. <laughs> Need to make a stronger AI song for Trip. Oh yeah, there's no Trip. We can eventually, we'll theme out everybody eventually. There's no limit to the amount of themes we can do. All right. All right. <clears throat> Let's do another news. Let's actually cover all three of the stories today that I said I would. We even did the Liz Hurley incest story. And this is a classic one, all the way from the days of the backfeed. I consider this story deeply personal to me. And that's chess cheating with your ass. A basically made up story that nonetheless, I can't help but click on uh, every time I see something related to it. So I guess let's get a, I don't know, let's get Jeff in here to cover another important piece of news for us. Um, yeah, you'll see. It's still your vagina. Don't let them take it from you. Okay. I feel like I just get up. Arms, ladies, but against me, they want me to come. Uh, thanks, uh, for being here. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Thanks for being here, Jeff. You gotta get better at clicking on stuff. Uh, good to see everybody. I'm Jeff Ripple. Oh my god, I'm back again. Uh, turn on this fucking trash music. Turn on my music. Yeah, no. Don't go settling for less, honey. I forgot that everybody has their own goddamn track. Yes, we do. Goddamn it. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> I'm the best one, though. That's what they all say. Yeah, but mine is. There's no denying that mine is the best. Everyone can feel it. I can feel it. Uh, yeah, you can feel it. That's a good one, Jeff. Thanks, buddy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks. Any news? There's always news. And that's why I'm here, to keep you as informed as possible. Is your ass safe still? Has the scandal, the, the scandal that refuses to unclench, the St. Louis chess scandal inspires offers of free anal vibrators to level the playing field. And finally, Case, you can save a little money. I know you go through them fast. I wouldn't be ashamed to go through them fast, Jeff. I'm not trying to shame you. That was an earnest concern as a friend. If anything, it just proves that I'm tight and strong down there. That's true. The chess world is still feeling the vibrations of the buzziest chess story of 2022, which went down in St. Louis and featured one prodigy of the game being accused of cheating via vibrating anal beads in his rectum. You remember that? I do remember that. What was the deal with that? Some chess guy, they claimed he was using the vibrations to cheat. Morse code style. That seems like there'd, there'd have to be a better way. Why through the ass? Why not just like a little ball in your pocket or something? His name was Hans. It always is. The sex toy centric chess controversy started here when Grandmaster Magnus Carlsen withdrew from the Sinquefield Cup in a coy manner that may inter many interpret it. Ugh. What was that? The news was escaping me. In a coy manner that interpreted, uh, many interpreted as an accusation of cheating against the person he lost to, then 19 year old Hans Niemann. And 19-year-olds uh, are always trying to cheat on their little tests and their little international chess competitions with butt stuff. That's what all 19-year-olds are up to. I was a substitute teacher in Dayton, Ohio, and those kids would not stop cheating with their ass. You know what? I'm not going to follow up on that, Jeff. You shouldn't. One thing led to another. Elon Musk escalated the matter via tweet, and in a classic example of the arc of all things bending towards the weirdest and at least plausible explanation. That's well, not the least. The anal beads rumors inserted themselves into the discourse. Who's writing this? Because this is good. Riverfront Times. Now, this is some reporting right here. It sure is. The whole thing even spawned a lawsuit field in federal court in St. Louis by Neiman against Carlson. That was dismissed last summer. Well, I bet that lawyer had a certain advantage, if you know what I mean. He was probably vibrating all around the courtroom. He was cheating on lawyering with his ass. You can cheat on anything with your ass. Those vibrations empower you to knowledge untold. Why? Because you really feel it. You're like, I know everything. Hmm. The lawsuit might be dead. The relationship between anal beads and competitive chess now seems permanent, like Cracker Jacks and baseball, or domestic beer and the NFL. A relationship that has never had any issues. I can't think of any, you know, recent schisms there. Nothing at all. Wow. Even there, people's fear of butt stuff gets in the way. America needs to evolve its opinions on butt stuff. It really does. With that in mind, wellness company WeVibe is offering free anal stimulation toys to all players in the next month's World Chess Championship in Toronto. As the world watches in anticipation, WeVibe is proud to support the World Chess Championship, the company said in a statement. They said they hope to empower players to make their moves with confidence, both inside and outside the game. Is that a sex pun? Yeah, you know, if you're talking butt stuff, any, any phrases at all will get you there. In, out, in, out. It's just those ones. Well, if you say them enough. Butt stuff for everyone. Exactly, Card King. Was Randy McNally there? <laughs> Randy McNally was probably like, I like it. It's great. They're talented. And I love to watch them play. The eight-player double round robin style candidates tournament will take place over two and a half weeks in Toronto starting April 3rd. The winner of what will take the winner of that will take home. Stop just sound it out. I can read. The winner of that will take on defending champion Ding Liren. Curiously, Carlson has already withdrawn from the affair. No word yet from WeVibe if he still gets a free butt plug. Well, they should really give him one. He started off this whole sales bonanza for them. Every chess player in the world putting something in their ass, every chess board coming with a free butt plug, that's not what this story said, but it's be smart marketing. Because I'll buy, if they throw in a butt plug, I'll start playing chess. 
that would get you to to learn the algorithms it's not is it a strategy oh that's the word i was looking for yes <clears throat> except the knight well wait wait a minute Wait, in the right hands, isn't every chess piece just a butt plug? Wait, I should be playing chess. This is why we do the news, Jeff. I've been missing out on so much chess, and I could have been playing so hard. Just don't leave the pieces out. That's part of it for me. Bleach after checkmate? I think you probably should. Well, that's the most important story we've covered in a while. <laughs> well, debatably. I, yep, yeah, you know, yeah, sure. Sure, yeah, sure. All right, well, um... That was a quick story. Sometimes you throw a rock in a pond, and it just makes a little bit of a splash. But even the smallest splash creates a ripple. And that's why I'm named Jeff Ripple. That's why you're named Jeff Ripple? That's, sure, that's why I'm named Jeff Ripple. I'll be back. I'll see you soon. That's the power of news. <laughs> Still waiting for the butt plug fed to hit competitive gaming. We can hope. I think it'll get there eventually. The bishop is one of the safer pieces. Any of the chessboards where they have arms and sharp implements, those are dangerous for Jeff to play with, but your classic, like, standard chessboard, a lot of those could be butt plugs. At least a few. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Pond appeal. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Hmm. Let's, um... There's some more Chet science in the thread. Send off with some Chet guy the science eyes. He doesn't have a stunt for you today, but who knows? He might decide that he does. Uh, we'll, we'll educate ourselves at the end of the stream here. This is a very educational stream, so let's not stop it now with some Check Guy, the science eyes. Check Guy, the science eyes. Yes! I knew that I had this science lab for a reason. And it's to do all the science in the world with all of you, my loyal lab assistants. You can get in on this science too. How are you doing, my powerful AI science colleague? It's great to be here, Chet. I'm ready to empower our minds with the power of some sick science, dude. It's nasty. It is fucking nasty the way we do science. Science isn't all about numbers and letters with equal signs between them. It's also about heart. And I feel like I bring more heart to this science than anyone. Because I've, Docs have told me I have a very huge heart inflamed in it, and there's no telling how long I have. Oh, oh, um. Nice. Yeah, exactly. Sick. Nice. But dude, maybe he's up on the. Egg, egg yolks? I gotta eat at least 13 egg yolks a day. Uh, okay. That's impressive, bro. Don't? Yeah, exactly. You mean that? Yeah, I totally mean that. <clears throat> okay, good. Because it's in your programming that you gotta fucking agree with me, man, so get on it. Oh, baby. 
what kind of science has have my lab assistants procured for us today is my question and i'm ready to fucking learn it's time to science all right let's see what we got here it's a strong science time look at this fucking baddie ready to fucking science at us a tip of the knife into a large heavy potato look it's barely holding it if i take a mallet and i hit the handle like this oh will the potato drop let's check <laughs> love it look the blade went deeper and deeper through the potato because the potato is inertial it didn't have time to move it did not move every time when i hit the handle now safety issue when you decide to remove this potato from the knife don't touch the knife blade with your fingers do this done you insert do we have a fucking hammer here um i don't actually know if we have potatoes what kind of science lab is this we ain't got potato potatoes i mean um obviously it'd be sick to have potatoes dude but also, I don't know if you should be wielding blades on stream. Why shouldn't I? Well, that's a great point, chat. Never mind. If you want to wield a blade on stream, I'd say that's fair. Uh, it's totally fucking fair. And, and get me a potato. Uh, um, check the fridge? Shit, I gotta do it myself. I forgot you don't have arms because you're a computer. All right, let me see if I got a potato so I can make this fucking science happen. Obviously, what she did was impressive. But we do like to confirm the results here, so give me just a second. Dude, good news. I think I All right, this is sick. I found a potato. Now look, the only issue with the potato is, I bet it's the same size as her, but because I'm so huge, it looks tiny. But I think courtesy of science, this is a way to, we're varying our results. We're test, we're, we're changing the aquariable to, Confirmatize. It should work with a small potato, I think, dude. Oh, sick. Okay, good. Because that's basically what I was getting at. I also do have a little hammer. Hey, quiet, miss. I'm doing the science now. All right. Now, the only thing I have to do is not stab myself with this knife. Oh, my God. The knife is wavy. Oh, no. It's been infected with my wavy hand syndrome. Is the knife still safe to use? Uh, I, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I also have my hammer ready just in case you need me to electronically confirm these results. I might. Oh no, my hammer is wavy as shit too. Oh fuck, I forgot that my face has its own form of gravity. That's rough. Wow, how does that work? I wish I knew myself. The doctors still can't tell. Alright, we need some fucking epic science music. Um... Before I do this important science for the day. <clears throat> and I also have to be careful not to stab myself in the crotch. Because that's where the knife will be pointed. But this is for science. And when something is for science, 
I don't think it can possibly be against TOS. So, we're gonna keep that in mind while we stab the shit out of this. Out of this. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I think I stabbed it wrong. Oh, no. This is... Okay. This is easy science for me. Okay, guys. It's climbing. It's a climber. This is science. It did it weird because the potato was too small for my huge ass wavy knife. But look at the power of science. And just like that, you take a delicious bite out of your potato apple. What the fuck? That shit sucked. Oh, computer, why didn't you warn me that potatoes suck when they bite or bite them raw unlike apples? That's not a thing you just knew, dude. I was trying to celebrate with a nice potato bite. Um, don't do that, man. Shit, I fucked. Now my mouth tastes like fucking dirty ass potato. Did you wash it? No, I didn't wash it. Shut. Shit. That's brave, dude. You're brave as hell, man. Yeah, I've never feared a potato in my life. And then, so I would have been unscientific for me to, to wash it. What if the nutrients are necessary to work on the knife? Dude, that's thinking I had, man. Good science thing. Yes. Fuck. Oh, no. God damn it, this water tastes like potato. Everything tastes like potato now. Shit. It was two exper experiments in one. And that's why Chet is so good at science. Because he's never stopping to think about if he should. Exactly. The bravest among us never ask why. We ask, what? And that's a quote that you can take to the grave. I, I will. Thank you, Chetai. Let's do one more science in here. If there's a video, I'll watch it. Shoot, there's an article. What the fuck, there could be a mirror universe? What does that mean? What does that mean for us mere mortals? I guess let's find out. This is curious. This is this requires me to read, which I've already done today, and my eyes are tired of considering words. But for the sake of science, I'll read this. That's your wow. Way to go, man. Sick. Yeah. Thank you. I do need a lot of constant affirmation. Scientists say there could be a mirror universe reflecting a parallel realm. Dark matter continues to elude de detection, and scientists are looking at alternate theories to explain its absence. One theory is that dark matter resides in a dark mirror universe that failed to form atoms during the nucleosynthesis of the Big Bang. Every interaction in our universe, the theory explains, would have an accompanying interaction inside the dark matter universe. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. He's like a dark version of me. What? what? Are you a dark matter universe being? No, I'm an advanced AI. Chaos Emerald. Tell me the truth. Is he from the dark matter universe? Damn, the, the Chaos Emerald won't talk to me. What? Sick, you have a Chaos Emerald? I do. All right, well, you skate by today, Chitai. I guess you're a computer. I'm a computer. I'm not dark matter. I'm not sure, though. All right, well. I think we scienced about as much as I possibly can. And I think that means that this stream was a power powerful science stream. So let's send it back to Papato. Uh, potato is he a potato? No, he's a dog. Well, let's send it back to potato to send it to a different stream, and, and then you won't be watching. <coughs> oh shit! A little potato chunk just got caught in my throat. Get the camera away from me! I'm choking on the potatoes.
power of lightning. Well, guys, we did it. Another successful stream. <laughs> Another raging success. We just can't stop. Over here at the Ben Studios. You know, I'm going to go use the bathroom. Okay. Why are you leaning over to tell me that? Why are you leaning over? Because I'm a dog. I do what I want. Anyway, can you find someone for us to raid? Yes. I will mash my paws. All right. Thanks, buddy. Okay, chat. Let's see who's out here today. Who is another streamer who loves to do... Oh, Kasim is on. Kasim G. Wait, this ain't, this ain't your Taurus, right? Is it shared? No. Stop it. Stop talking at me, Twitch. Okay, let's raid Kasim. Look, Casey's timing actually sort of worked. He's doing it. He's doing it. Let's get a dog beat. Dog beat to send you off for the day. Doo -doo -doo. Free diss track, psychopath. No, I want a dog bark beat where the dogs bark. Hard type dog beat. Dogs barking type beat. Yeah, this is better. Yeah! Okay. Bye, everybody. Let's just stream for the day. Bye, MSG. Bye, Reverie Wolf. Bye, Live and Sleazy. Have fun with Cassim. It's a Pepito Ray! Yeah! Let's go! Pepito went into the whole damn show. Pepito on his producer flow. Pause fashion on the buttons. Let's go. Greg to you. Coming through. We'll leave in the chat with you. Jojo, he's on the board. That's Monopoly. It's time you scored Cloud 9000. Goodbye. I'm Pepito, but I don't know why. Huey, Cueler, they're never a loser. They're in the chat because we choose her. Greg to you. Love the hate. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Ah,